Hi, I'm Kim Winkendale, and welcome back to my show, My Weird Addiction. For today, we're at the house of a girl named Sophie Safer, where she has a strange addiction to Fortnite. So Sophie, is there anything you want to tell about yourself? I honestly don't think I'm that addicted to Fortnite. Like, I'll only be playing maybe 20 hours a day, which I think that is a perfect balance. I think that I played in moderation, but no, I wouldn't say that I'm addicted to playing. These are Sophie's siblings, Evelyn and Drew, playing tag. Hi, my name's Evelyn and I'm Sophie's sister. Sophie is very addicted to her computer in this game called Fortnite. It really ruins our relationship and how like I like act towards her because she's very she can be very mean to me and it just overall affects our relationship. We're not that close anymore. I've been doing all the chores around the house. Me and Drew, can you please help out? Nope. Yeah, please, Sophie. I'm playing Fortnite. This is my personal thing. Hi, my name is Drew, and I'm Sophie's little brother. I um, wanted to play tag with her with me and Evelyn. But she screamed and said, get the beep out of my room. Oh, she swore. Yes. Do you want to play tag with me? Get out of my fucking room. Dang. Playing Fortnite. Wow. Looks like I have my work cut out for me. Well, looks like Sophie's humble abode is right there. Hi. Oh my God, it's so nice to meet you. Oh. Yeah, I really hope I can too. I saw the videos you sent. It's pretty bad. Okay guys, so tell me a little more about what's been going on. So I feel like whenever we are home or wherever we are, Sophie's always playing Fortnite. And whenever, well she's always in her room, but whenever we go to interact with her, she just screams at us, tells us to get out of her crib and like... Her crib? She calls that her room. It's an awful place. She doesn't help with chores. She doesn't really do anything. She just sits up in the room. She does it 1 a.m. to 11 p.m. That's an interesting schedule. Well, looks like, once again, I have my work cut out for me. We can do this, guys. Let's go up and meet the lady herself. Let's go. This is Sophie's room. As you can see, she has a lot of gamer stuff. And she is still playing Fortnite. Some people think I'm a little hard on my patients, but trust me, it's all about the process. Yeah. So the next step of my process, we go to a huge room, and trust me, this always works. We go to a huge room where everyone's watching them and talk about her feelings and troubles. You know, it really helps. Anyway, welcome, Sophie Saper. Woo! Hello, Sophie, are you ready to let this part of your past, your Fortnite-ness, out of here, just make it better. Okay, well, I'm already in a pretty bad mood because I had to get off Battle Royale for this interview, so off to a great start. Pretty soon, you'll forget all about that and remember it's just a game. Right. Trust me. Hi. Now, tell me a little bit about your emotions and, like, why you're so into this <clears throat> game. Well, do, you want, do you want to pet the dog? It helps. Uh, yeah, sure. So, um, okay, guess the dog doesn't like me. Um, I actually <laughs> played Fortnite for he the first like time. He doesn't like a lot of people. I played Fortnite for the first time when I was 13. Um, my friend actually introduced me to it, and I just thought it was like everything down to the minute details of it, like the the strategy, the the digital aspect of it. Just I had a huge fascination with the game. I thought it was so cool, and I actually played on my Nintendo Switch, and then my Nintendo Switch broke, and I was okay. Me. Okay, so tell me. Um the crux of your problem. How come you just cannot get off of your chair and look and know. touch grass? That's what our main... Honestly, thing. there's something about just being in a dark room, putting on my headphones, and just getting in the zone. Like, time goes by differently when I'm, when I'm on the game. <laughs> time goes by differently. I'll be playing from 9 a.m. to 2 a.m. all day. I see. Well, I think we can help you here. Um, trust me, I know everything we need to do. You just have to cooperate with me, okay? I don't think that this uh, will work, but I'm open to... So having... you're saying you'll listen to everything I say? Do anything I say? As long as I can play Fortnite in moderation, 
then I'll yeah, do Yeah, that's the goal here. We're not going to completely get rid of Fortnite. We're just looking to moderate your time. Make okay. it so you have a life, you know? All right. So, you know, shower a little bit. Okay, so next step. I'm going to bring Sophie to the outside world to the first, for the first time in years. Okay, Sophie, you ready? Yep. To breathe in actual air, I'm not ready. not just slurp juice. Okay, here we go. Ready. How? So like, where's all the chests and stuff? Like, how do I get a gun out here? So the first thing we're gonna have you do is you're gonna step down onto this grass, bend down, bend over, and touch it. Interesting. Doesn't it feel nice? It feels exactly like what it would feel like if I were in Fortnite in real life. Yeah, um, good. So, you do realize that Fortnite didn't create everything. What do you mean? Yes, it did. Fortnite is everything. Fortnite is, is God. Fortnite is everything. You see, here's an example. So you know Thanos? Yeah. You know how he was a skin in Fortnite? Yeah. That was actually created, that character was created years before Fortnite even 